So if you caught the last video, insert beautiful bean footage. Let's see what the top of the range is. They topped it up, eh? They topped it up, yeah. Tell me not to worry, it was within the range. It was within the range. <laughs> So as you can see here, it's filled to the top eye hole. That's the top of the range. Mm -hmm. So you can oh see my, my fingernail. Yeah, there. I can see where it's limped. It. Yeah. So It'll come this way. Here. Yeah. That's way above. Yeah. So they're overfilling it with oil. Oh, well. That if we didn't drive that point home already, they're yeah. they're overfilling. Yeah. They're overfilling them with oil. So well, you know. The Ford solution to the oil consumption issue is adding more oil. This guy's garage. Like and subscribe. So even if most mechanics couldn't tell you why you shouldn't overfill your engine with oil, they know you shouldn't do it. It's not a widely re it's not a widely kept secret that you shouldn't overfill your engine. So why is Ford overfilling their engines now? That that is the question I'm asking. And this is going to be a quick demonstration on why you shouldn't overfill your engine. Not unless you want to make engine oil mayonnaise. So here we have my wife's stand mixer. This bowl represents your oil pan. This gadget here represents your crankshaft. And what happens when oil comes in contact with your crankshaft? This will make a proper demonstration. So let's turn on the engine. Insert oil here. A little bit of oil. No issue. What happens when you start going faster? You put miles on your oil. When that crankshaft takes your oil, it takes in air. air bubbles in the oil. All right, we're gonna leave her go a couple minutes longer, see what happens. What's happening to the oil as it mixes longer? You go faster. Air is being mixed into the oil because it's hitting, well, for example, the crankshaft. So that, or the oil pumps can't pump air.
the engines that have that milky goo because they're all filled with oil. This is nowhere near as fast as an engine turns over. Crankshafts and engine oil don't mix. There's a reason why they have windage trays on high performance engines. There's a reason why they're to tell you not to overfill your engines, folks. But what's good for we is not good for thee. So as you can see, the effects of overfilling your engine with oil can become catastrophic. So we have two more videos coming out this week, folks. Uh, now would be a great time to hit that subscribe button because... I gotta buy a new stand mixer. Anyways, two videos coming out this week. First one, viewers' questions will be answered. And the second is gonna be the long awaited how wide is the range on the new F150 dipstick? Coming up. I'm gonna catch hell for this when she gets old. Guys, garage, like and subscribe.